In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God will speak forth from inside you. From inside of you. The joy of the Lord. It will radiate all over you. Yeah, it's time. 
Isaiah chapter 4. But for want of time, we are going to read from verses 1 to what? To 3. And we are going to read as if we are choir. We are going to echo it together. Praise the Lord. So I want you to open that scripture. If you are there, tell me you are there. I am there. I am there, sir. I am there. Is there anyone that is not there? Are we all there? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60. Verses 1 to 3. Are we there? Yes, so, let us read. 1, 2, go. Arise! Opportunity to go 
glorify the name of the Lord. Opportunity to take advantage of it. It's an opportunity to adventure, to venture. Bible says it's a lazy man that says that there is a lion in the street. The Lord is telling us to arise. Receive the grace to arise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Arise in this world that is filled with darkness. Arise. Illuminate. Lighten up the surrounding. If you live a life that people cannot disabuse you from all believers, People cannot distinguish you from people that do not have Christ in their life. There is something in God. I say unto you, arise and shine. Amen. For your life has come. Amen. And the life of this world is our Lord Jesus Christ. When you arise and your life is shining, every darkness will give way. Praise the Lord. Every time we do all, so I want you not to allow fear to hold you down. I want you not to allow situation and circumstances what you have not achieved. Don't let it hold you down. It is time to arrive because the Bible says time and chances. Have to them all. A lot of God we say we are not arriving, we are not shining because we are worrying so many troubles. I don't have a job. I don't have enough money. Oh, look at our church. The basic facility is still not there. We are building. And some of us, because of that, we are afraid of coming to church or we are ashamed of coming to church. Let me tell you something. You do not have any reason not to arise and shine. You know all the resources, all the resources that were made available for Solomon. To build the church, the temple. Do you know how many years it took you to build the temple? Who can tell me? Who can venture into that? How many years? It's not months, it's years. How many years? It took him seven years to build. Seven solid years with all of the resources. With everything his father has left for him. Seven years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Open your Bible to First King. First King chapter 6. Verse 38. If you are there, I want someone to read for emphasis. First King 6, verse 38. And the Bible says, And in the 11th year, In the 11th year, in the one book, which is the eighth month, which is interpreted as the eighth month, was the house finished? Was the house completed? Go ahead. Two out of the parts thereof, mm -hmm. and according to all the fashion of it, so it was. So was he seven years in Philistine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I did write that part. Did I? No, sir. So it's a revelation, no doubt to me. He said, in the 11th year, in the 8th month, which by interpretation is 8, the month of whom was the house finished. Throughout all in fact, the house was being in fact. So please forgive us if it's not painted. 
is in power. Forgive us. If there's no toilet, is in power. I know it's very, very stressful. But Solomon built it in seven years. We will not use seven years as maybe far less than that, maybe Amen. one year. Amen. Yeah. After all, we started how many months ago? March. Is it not March we started? Yes, sir. And we are in which month now? August. How many months five. now? Five. Just five months, isn't it? And we are where we are today. So don't be discouraged. Don't complain. Always arising and shining, no matter the situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord owns you, sir. He will open doors unto you. Amen. Right there, and our God will, sir, he will bless us. Amen. Our God, who is in Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 2. He will bless us and we in Sabbath will do what? Shall be. The Lord will grant you the answer to be unto the Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So arise with your strength, with the strength that the Lord has given unto you. Arise and you love yourself. Because the Lord will not do for a man 
what a man can do for himself. You are loaded. You must be creative. The gift within, push it out, let it shine. The Lord will give you the gift Amen. to exercise, to full potential. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when, when they say the manifestation of I am, the manifestation of God, they said the Lord manifests Himself. He has always been there. Remember the man said, the Lord was in this place. And I do not know. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. But when you are awoken spiritually, you are not sleeping. You will know that the Lord is in you. A present at a time of trouble. You will begin and you begin to believe in yourself. When you arrive spiritually, you will not be like that man. He was sitting, he was climbing, he was climbing. What did the Lord send an angel to me? Thou great man of mighty valor. The Lord has chosen you to deliver your people. Is that me? He does it. But I'm here to announce to you when you are right. Darkness has been the world, or darkness covers 
the world. You are exempted from darkness. Amen. Your family is exempted from darkness. Amen. Your family is exempted from evil. Amen. You will not die a true death. Amen. Your blood and that of your children, your family, will not be used for the sacrifice of peace for this land. Amen. Anywhere they require God, we offer them the blood of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In every day of your life, if you make up your mind and you are rising and you are shining, obstacle will not hold you down. Amen. If I can who are down, oh my day, that can turn before who? No mountain, no obstacle. No mountain will stand before you. Yeah. In this dispensation, every mountain the Lord will make it the more here. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. the Lord will do a new thing in your life. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. you will arise. You will shine. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. To arise and to shine is to embrace the light of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To embrace what? The light. the light of God. In your life. In your family. Amen. And in this church. In your business. When that light comes, no darkness can comprehend it. Yeah. And darkness will never comprehend it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Nothing will hold you down in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And from a star into your life, any form of darkness will run away in the presence of that light at the time. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. From this moment and beyond, you will experience the light of God. Amen. In any area of your life that is filled with darkness, that is filled with doubt, the Lord whom you serve will shed his light into it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will arise and you will shine. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will be a voice to reckon with. You will be a force in your generation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not fold your hand when other people are acting, when they are called unto duty. The grace of the Lord will give you great enablement. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will rise. Amen. You will shine. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Open to that scripture again. I want someone to read from verse 4. Yes. Our text is chapter 60. As I chapter 60. Read from verse 4 downward. Yes. Keep up thy eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy son shall come from far, Amen. and thy daughter shall be loved at thy side. Amen. Then thou shalt see and flow together, Amen. and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the seed shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitudes of the family shall cover thee. Show forth the places of the Lord. Go ahead. All the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. Amen. The ranks of Nebel shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on my altar, Amen. and I will glorify the house of my glory. Praise the 
and Lord. May that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Now look at verse 5. The day thou shalt see, you cannot see if you do not arise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you sit down and you bow down your head, there's no way you can see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a constant effort. Thou shalt see and so together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged. May the Lord enlarge your face. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Abundantly and fulfill your heart desire. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall be enlarged in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 11. So therefore, thy gate shall perpetually be open. No doors that are open will be shut. All the open doors that the Lord has granted me, none will be shut. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sin will not shut the door. Amen. Sickness will not shut the door. Bible said, your gates, your gates shall what? Continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That may they bring unto thee the forces of the Gentile, that their king may be brought. For the nations and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The nation, the forces, the people that will not minister to you as you rise and you are shining in this dispensation and beyond, you will be back. When you knock upon the what that means that several doors will be opened unto you. Amen. Men will be struggling to serve you. Amen. Provision will come from left, from right, Amen. from the south, from everywhere. And if that's a thing, it's very important. You know what is happening in the country now. But here is the promise of the Lord concerning you and your household. Violent shall never be held again. Amen. In your land. Wedding or disruption within that border shall never happen again. Thou shalt be called the wall of salvation. And thy gate shall call off gates of praise. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it, and so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has me to tell you in verse 20. Thy fall shall no more go down. Amen. Your fall will not set. No evil will be come near you and your, your dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your children will be healthy Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The neither shall the moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting life. Amen. The Lord will be your everlasting life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the days of thy mourning has ended. Amen. If there is anything that is causing you to mourn, the Lord asked me to tell you, the days of thy mourning is what? Amen. If that happens, you shall continue to rejoice. You shall continue to testify Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall not mourn over your children. You shall not mourn over your husband. Amen. You shall not mourn over your children, Amen. over your business, Amen. over anything that you hold and you are cherishing. You will not mourn over them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And hear this. When you look around, you may be thinking that, oh, numerically, you are few. But the Lord has something to say about it. He said that people also, that people also shall be what? All righteous. Sin will not dwell in your midst. Every form of sin 
are inheriting the land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I need to tell you in verse 32. A little one shall become what? A thousand. That is to say, the Lord is enlarging you spiritually, materially, numerically. Amen. Your men will not be filled. Amen. Your women will not be filled. Amen. Your children will not be filled. Amen. Your teenagers will not be filled. Amen. You will not be filled. The Lord will enlarge you. Amen. A little one shall become a thousand. Amen. And a small one, a strong nation. We hasten to perform it. The Lord asked me to tell you, and the appointed time, hide the Lord will hasten to perform it. The Lord will make it happen at the right time. That situation of things, that thing you are looking for, don't complain anymore. Begin to give thanks. Said I should tell you, and the appointed time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor help is on the way. Absolutely. Choose another neighbor and tell your neighbor help is on the way. Absolutely. And rise up as you take the song. My
Thank you, Mr. 